Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal! So in the previous episode we got our fortune badge I believe it was. And also by the way I did train um, off screen as you can tell. I don't know if I went overboard or not. But needless to say, Grobat is level 37 with the moves Wing Attack, Bite, Swift and Supersonic. Um, Gloom is level 36 with the moves Absorb, Acid, Poison, po Poison? Poison Powder and Moonlight. Sorry. Um, a champ is level 37 with the move String, Cyclotus, Low Kick, and Vile Throw. Grand Bull is level 37 with the moves Hitbot, Bite, Tackle, and Shadow Ball. Magmar is level 37 with the moves Fire Punch, Disty Punch, Sunny Day, and Iron Tail. And finally, Feraligatr is level 38 with the moves Surf, Slash, Ice Punch, and Bite. So I think I'm good to go for now. <coughs> uh, level wise, that is. So yeah, as I was saying, I think I went a bit overboard, so this gym is gonna be really easy. And probably also the next one. Um, but who knows? Who knows, right? I'd rather be over leveled than under leveled to be honest. And I think I think that's alright with you guys, hopefully. Okay, so you have a manky, a primate, and another manky. There we go. So now it is gym time. Wahahaha! <laughs> so you come this far. Let me tell you I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. <laughs> there, scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. Well, that's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Let's do it. Alright, so Gym Leader Chuck has two Pokemon. The first one is a Primeape. And Primeape is a pure um, fighting type Pokemon, level 27. And once again, I think that Grobat here is gonna take it out in one hit. No problem. Yep, seems like it. Okay, cool, cool. And the next on the roster is Pol uh, Polyrad, level. 30? Yeah, level 30, fighting and water type. And once again, I think I'm just gonna take this one out in one hit. Uh, perfect, alright. So that was really simple. Well, uh, I lost! How about that? You're worthy of the storm badge. Okay, that was really weird. There's a lot of sirens going on on the street right now, outside my window. Anyway, um, Stone Batch makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. It's, it also lets your Pokemon use Fly when you're not uh, in a battle. Here, take this too, TM01, Focus Punch. That I'm probably just gonna sell right away. I don't really like fo uh, Dynamic Punch, sorry, that's even worse. I don't really like Dynamic Punch. Um, I mean, it's not a bad move, obviously it's strong, but... I just don't really like it. You crossed the sea to get here. That must have been hard. Um, it would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That sign would gym badge. Then you should take this HM and we get HMO to fly. Alright. Yeah, shut up now, thank you. I am definitely gonna teach uh, fly right away to, of course, um, Robin. So, fly. Yes. Instead of supersonic, I never really used that move. I could get rid of wing attack and have fly instead, but I'd rather have wing attack over supersonic, so. Needless to say, we are done here in in a Simwood City. So, what I'm gonna do now is I think I'm gonna fly over to Olivine City and buy some Great Balls. Because we might need them um, in the upcoming battle against a certain Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy 20. Hopefully, that's enough. Alright. And now, let me fly over to Ecrotique City.
And I'm also gonna switch out really quick. Um, I need to have cut. So deposit uh, Macho, I guess, for now. And I need my lovely... Where is it? There, audition. Alright, perfect. Alright, so if you want to meet Suicune again, you need cut, so just keep that in mind. Um, it's actually on Route 42 right here. So we need to surf across the water. And run into a Goldeen, goddammit. Uh, no, but if you go down here, you can see Suicune, right? So we need to cut down this tree. And... It just runs away. So that's about it. By the way, down here are some, some apricorns for, you know, custom uh, Pokeballs. I don't really like those, so I'm not really gonna go around and collect the apricorns, but it, it's there if you want some love ball or fast ball, uh, lure ball, etc. Um, also, I... Th oops, not what I wanted to do. God damn it. Also, I think I'm gonna... Let's see. Hmm... Yeah, I think I'm gonna put Blooming up in front now and battle some trainers. Because he needs some XP. <clears throat> Alright. And another trainer right here. What do you have? You have a Nidorino and probably a Nidorino as well. Yeah. Called it. Called it. And what do you have? A Judo? Oh, Diglett, okay, cool. Dark Trio, wow. Awesome. And a Geodude, yeah, there it is. Perfect. So, with that, guys, welcome to. Mahogany Town? Mahogany Town? What? Hello? I don't know how to pronounce that name, I'm sorry. Mahogany? 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 I, I don't know, I have no clue. Um, so deposit my Oddish, right? And you know what, actually, yeah, hmm, yeah, actually, you know what, I'm gonna keep it on me for now. Um, because I believe that there uh, is some trees that we can cut down, uh, up here somewhere. On Route 43. And also a couple of trainers, so why not take them on? Too bad, ooh. And a sand slash, okay. Easy peasy. So if we go up here, god damn it, stupid fartfetch. Um if we go up here, I think there is another trainer. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe right? Yeah, right there, okay. Uh hit button. And now we can surf to God damn it, freaking um, magic up. No, but yeah, if we go this way here, I think we can cut down some trees. And I actually have an interesting story about this place because where we're going right now is actually um, there was supposed to be a town up here in the beta versions of Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver, but it got removed for some reason. Anything here? Oh, full restore? Okay, cool, cool. Definitely want that. Um, but yeah, it got removed for some reason. It even had its own gem. Um, but it was never, you know, in, in, the, in the final versions of the games. For whatever reason there might have been. Um, so there's that, really. <laughs> An interesting little story, I guess. God damn it, there's a lot of cutting here. And also I have no clue where I'm going, so just bear with me. TM43, what is that? What is that? Um, detect, okay. Not really something that I want, but it's there, you know. So let's go this way. I'm probably missing out on some items. There's one down there, for instance. And also a house. Hey, what's up? Uh, you have strayed far. Here, I have meditated inside me, and new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this child. TM10, hidden power. I know that for a fact. Do you see it? It's hidden power. 
it draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this, its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. Alright, another team that I won't be using, but it's there. So that's pretty cool. Ugh, I need to cut down these trees again, goddammit. But, luck but luckily I can just speed it up, so we don't have to sit here all day, you know. <coughs> um, what is here? An elixir. Okay, awesome. I I usually save those for uh, for the elite four because you never know if you need to regain some PP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so we are almost good to go here. But we can go up here and see if there's anything. Like a hidden item? A rare candy! Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. I think I have two uh, rare candies now. Not that it really matters, um, to be honest. But you know, it's there. It's a free level up, so why not take it? Uh, let me just look at the timer. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we are pretty much done with that pad up there. Oh, hello, Sentry. And bye-bye again. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is... I'm not sure if I should continue this episode. Uh, you know what, let's just do it. Let's battle some trainers and get to the Pokemon that I was talking about. Almost a level up. Level up. Rage! Um, instead of tackle, I guess. Again, I never really use tackle, so why not take advantage of it? And have rage instead, even though I'm probably not gonna use rage either. But right here, god damn it! Right here it is. And it is the famous shiny Gyarados at level 30, water and flying. Um. So will I be using this one for my team? Most likely not. At all, really. Um, you know, it's awesome because it's shiny, etc, but... Oh my god. Really? Come on! Thank you, god. What was that about? It appears whenever there is world conflict burning down any place it travels through. No, I don't want the Gyarados. I'm not gonna use it. Obtained a red skill, and that red, uh, red skill is actually important. And I'm gonna show you why in a minute, actually. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Mark, I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier. I can tell that you are a trainer with consider uh, considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me in investigate? Excellent. It seems that the lake's magic hub are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from ma Mahogany, God damn it, is the cause. Uh, I'll be waiting for you. And he teleports? Use a stick? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna fly to Jerry Crow City. And I'm just gonna switch out really quick. Where is it? There, because I don't need the Oddish anymore. I want my champ back, thank you. Alright, and the reason why I wanted to show you the red skill uh, in the same episode as we got it is because it's a really, really, really cool item. Um, not the red skill itself, but you can trade it for another thing with Mr. Pokemon here, so... Why not do it? And, it, and you're gonna get a health item from it, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. So, of course I would run into wild, uh, wild Pokemon. God damn it, wild Pokemon. Okay. So talk to Mr. Pokemon. Hmm, that scale. What's that? A red Gyarados. That's rare. I I want it, Mark. Would you care to trade it? I can offer this XP share I got from Professor Oak. So you get the XP share, so you can attach it to any Pokemon that you want to level up um, without, have, without you know, you having to battle with it. Um, so if you have a Pokemon that is falling behind in your team, you can surely use that. 
So with that, let me fly back to the town that I can't pronounce. And I am also fully healed, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna put my champ up in front now. I said up in front. There we go. Uh, it was just me who pressed too too fast there. But needless to say, um, let's go in here and see what's up. Dragonite, Hyper Beam. Wow. What took you, Mark? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. He just... God, Lance is so violent. The stairs are right here. Mark, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. So what do you have to say? Ah, you found the secret stairway. Yep. So with that, guys, make sure you're gonna end off my episode right here. So thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we are gonna take on this mysterious place. See you guys then.